the older I get, the harder and harder it is to look trendy. Well, I can tell you, ever since I started podcasting, it has been transformative for my business. Let me show you my journey with podcasting and how you can make it work for your business. So if you're not already a busy entrepreneur, you can always add one more thing to your list. And for me, that is podcasting. It's kind of been one of those scratch in my head like, why should I podcast? Who cares about podcasts? Podcast is one of the fastest growing marketing strategies you can do as a business owner. But there are some significant challenges to getting set up. So I'm going to walk you through the process that I did in learning how to actually do podcasts and be an active podcaster. And it has been just a fascinating journey and I'm so excited to share this with you. So when you're starting out, let's just talk equipment. So I'm going to actually going to do is I'm going to show my screen and then I'm going to walk you through. I have a blog post. I have a series of three blog posts on my website that walks you through the entire process. So I'm going to show you what those are just from my screen just to keep things easy. Okay. So we're going to talk about podcasting. So this is my podcast on how do I podcast? Sounds like a good place to start. The first thing you'll need, let's talk about equipment first. The first thing you'll need is a Yeti mic. And I've got a picture here right in front of it. You could use any good microphone, but I find that this one tends to have the best, um, the best quality recording, and it's also super cute. It's mine's rose gold and white, so it's it's you know it's an aesthetic and it's it's an aesthetic thing for me. But it's a fantastic microphone, and it's a Yeti Y E T I. You can find them easily on Amazon. They're everywhere, but they're fantastic mics. The second one is I use a recording system through Zoom meeting, and that's Zoom.us. But I just have the, client, the guest on one, on one side and I'm on the other. I start the Zoom meeting, it records, and as part of that, it also records the audio. And then I send that recording to my next service and they clean it up and turn it into an actual podcast. My job is just to get the guest on the call and record the call. That's all it is. It's not like there's some, you don't have to have that deep radio voice, like welcome to KS 101. You know, it's not like that at all. It's just a casual conversation on a specific topic. Now, and we'll talk about podcast guests here in a minute, but let's keep going on with actually the equipment that you might need. So Zoom is a service that you'll need to subscribe to. I use a professional podcasting service called Podfly, P-O-D-F-L-Y. Podfly, they take my raw recordings from Zoom and they then clean it up and get it ready to be an actual audio file that I upload as a podcast. Now, the trick is you have to have an account that's going to syndicate your podcasts. So when people are searching for podcasts, so whether it be on Podcasts, Icon on iTunes, or it be Podcast Nation or Stitcher, there's a lot of different podcast directories, you have to have a syndication service. I use a service called Libsyn. It's L-Y-B-S-I-N. And that is where they syndicate your podcasts. So you'll go in there, you set up your account. Podfly up, uploads that directly to Libsyn and off you go. And it's amazing how all of a sudden you don't think, you know, how are anyone going to find it? I was getting a hundred plus listeners a day on podcasts and the numbers just keep going up and up and up. It's crazy. So, but it is, podcasting is a lot of work. So you have to sort of be ready that this is going to be another big, like doing YouTube videos. This is another big hurdle of learning, but once you get through it, it's a piece of cake. The next thing is I hired a, a professional voiceover to do my intro to my podcast and it sounds fantastic. And let's see if do I have it on here. Let's see. Yeah, here it is. As marketing professionals, we're always looking for inspiration on how we can better reach our customers. So this is a friend of mine, Glenn Thayer, and he, I call him Velvet Voice because he has the most gorgeous voice ever. So he did my intro. Sounds very professional. It's very light beat, very lighthearted. I don't want anything too serious. But you can find good voiceover coaches. I'm happy to give you Glenn Thayer's information. If you want to comment in the bottom or send me an email, heather at findability.com. He's a wonderful resource to have. Okay, so now we've got our microphone, we've got our service, like Zoom, that's going to record the call. We have Podfly, who's going to then take that call and convert it into an actual podcast and upload it to Libsyn. And Libsyn is the syndication service that gets it out to all the podcast sites. So that's the basic elements that you will need just to get set up. 
Now, the next big hurdle is going to be guests. How do I get guests? Guests is just like you're asking for a five to 10 minute interview. And by doing that, you're, you're creating less of an obligation for the guest. But I tell you, you gotta chase those guests. Come up with a list, a dream list of podcast people that you want on your podcast. Reach out to them via LinkedIn. Tell them what you're doing, how you're doing it, what's the purpose of it, how you're gonna be featured, as well as what are they willing to do. If you interview them on your podcast, what will they do to support the publicity for the podcast? So I made a list of all the people I really admire, people who run amazing businesses, wrote amazing books, or had some kind of really spectacular tool. I wanted to hear it from the horse's mouth. So I set up a series of interviews, and if you go to findability.com slash podcast, you can see all the podcasts that I've got in the can right now. Now what's nice is that I have a whole blog, blog post about how podcast guests are like herding cats. So they are a bit, it's a bit challenging when you're trying to get um, you know, a weekly or a monthly uh, podcast guest. So this is gonna be a great resource. I'm gonna put these links to the blog. I'm gonna put them in the description below this video. And then you can go directly to these blogs and learn how to set one up, how to get guests, and then ultimately how to produce all of them over time. It's pretty fun. I really, have, really, really enjoyed it. So guests, make sure you get them on the calendar right away. Go after your dream list. If you want the big A-listers, I am amazed. Um, the one person I always wanted to interview was Matt Cutts. Now Matt Cutts manages the Google algorithm at Google. His email address used to be, I'm not sure if it is anymore, matt at google.com. So he's been there since the dawn of time. And I'll never forget, I was having an argument with a couple people in my office about something. And I went to Twitter and I said, at Matt Cutts, so whatever his handle was, what do you think about this? And he responded back almost instantly. I almost fell out of my chair. He's like God in the SEO world. So it was amazing how easily you can reach someone. So don't give up, find the person you wanna interview, reach out to them and find a date as quickly as you can. I, we send them a little tiny gift box that has all these different goodies in it to get them excited about being featured on our podcast. And then once you get it, then of course you send it to Podfly. That's my company that produces the audio piece. Up, so remember you have to upload it to Libsyn. That's the one that syndicates it out to all the different podcast sites. But make your dream list, go for it. And if you read an amazing book, contact the author. If you have an amazing, if you have like a YouTube crush on somebody that you would like to interview about how, they're, how they've built their business through YouTube, just ask. I am amazed. I've had my last book, I got to interview Governor John Hickenlooper, who's now running for president. I was able to call his office and I got on his calendar. I interviewed the head and founder of Lucky Brand Jeans because I called the corporate headquarters and asked for his voicemail. I interviewed the person who is the head of Canva, a tool that I show a lot in my programs. I went right to Melanie Perkins and she was one of my podcast um, features. And of course, shoot high. All they can do is say no. But if you do it thoughtfully and reverently and you make sure that you're gonna make them look like a rock star for being on your podcast, you just, you've gotta either have an assistant that's gonna chase these people because it is work to get these podcast people um, to agree to show up for, I usually said half hour just to be safe so that we have time to test their audio, get some show questions sent to them and get ready for the podcast. So now that you've got all of your equipment, you have all of your guests invited, the final step is the day of the production, or at least the day before the production. Now, my assistant always went in and tested their audio to make sure that it was working well with, with the guest. We also sent them a series of questions that I could ask them as part of the interview process with, um, with the guest. And finally, if I want that podcast to be findable, I'm gonna attach a keyword to the content of that podcast. So I'm like, oh, hey, we're talking about keyword research tools, or today we're talking about how to do social media on Twitter or whatever. And I'll make sure that whatever the topic of the, of the, of the podcast is also something that's trending in search. So I have absolutely loved podcasting. I highly re recommend it. You will learn so much just by being on the phone with these experts. It's like a little mini tutorial university class every time you meet with one of these rock stars. And I've had so much fun. Check out my podcast at findability.com slash podcast. 
and you'll be able to subscribe to my podcast so it comes right in to any of the podcast apps you have on your phone and we can spend some quality time together. Check it out, podcasting is awesome. Are you ready to podcast? Hopefully I've inspired you to think about it and to maybe add that to your marketing mix this year. Make sure to visit us at findability.com or sign up for a findability review and we can geek out about podcasting all day long. It was a pleasure for me to share this content with you. And if you loved it as much as I love it, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll keep giving you great content to make you the most findable business online.